Hey y'all, it's Crystal from Beautifully Broken Crafts, Hauls, and More, and I wanted to start a little new series um, for the crafts that I do, because one, they can become time-consuming in terms of you guys watching them. Like the last one I posted was nine DIYs, which was 30 minutes after editing, which took me a couple hours to edit. So I figured we would try out a new series. Um, I'm just going to call it a craft or two a day to keep the stress away. And I will do my best to have at least one craft video posted a day. That way my editing time goes down and so does the watch time for you guys. Um, if this is something you guys think you would like, make sure to let me know in the comments. And let's get into this one real quick. This is, this is going to only be one in this particular video and then the next one will probably have two because they were quick little projects but here we go and at the end make sure you guys let me know what you thought of it so for this craft i'm gonna make a heart-shaped topiary so i am just going to take some white waverly chalk paint and pour some of it out in this little orange tray i have here and these i use this tray just as like my hot glue gun holder and paint holder and all that. And then I'm going to take that bunch of flowers you guys see sitting on the desk. Um, they look like roses, but they're not. There's the name of them. Rancanculus or something like that. They're from Walmart. I want to say they're less than $3 for a bunch. <coughs> Excuse me. And I ended up having to use two bunches for this topiary. And that was just to cover the front of it. So all I did was cut them down off of the bunch, uh, but I did leave the stems kind of long. That way I had something to hold on to because I'm going to dip the tips of these flowers into that white paint as you see there. And then I'm just going to set them all around on my desk to dry standing straight up. Um, once I get all of those done dipped in the paint, in the white paint, I am going to use the spray bottle to spray some red paint and pink paint on them. Okay, so now that all the tips have been painted with the white, I took this little spray bottle. You get a pack of two of them from Dollar Tree. And I had just dropped in a couple drops of some red acrylic paint and then a little bit of water and shook it up. And then I'm just spraying half of the roses with this red. And then you will see me make it in the other spray bottle there with the pink. So I just used some pink acrylic paint. Both acrylic paints were by Apple Barrel with a little drop of red in it and some water. And I just shook that up. And then I will spray the remaining flowers with the pink as you see here. Now I'm going to take this large foam heart that I purchased from Dollar Tree. And the first thought I had was to take this floral foam, not floral foam, floral moss that I have on hand from Dollar Tree. And I squirted some Mod Podge on it and was going to stick the moss down with that. However, that was not a strong enough, fast enough hold. So I ended up using my hot glue gun. The end result, though, I will say this. This was not a necessary step, so by all means, if you guys are going to recreate this, you can skip this part altogether if you have enough flowers that are, you're going to use to cover the, fla the, the heart. You guys, every time I record, I'm telling you, I don't know what I'm saying. So now that's done, I'm going to trim down the stems of these some more. And then once I get that done, I'm going to shove... I push the leaves up because I want to keep the leaves in there, and I just push the stem of the flowers into the foam. I didn't hot glue any of these flowers into this and I am just going to do this around the whole shape of the one side of the heart and then you will see me dipping my paint brush in paint once I get this on a dowel rod but it didn't, I didn't have the camera turned up enough for you guys to see what I was doing. I just paint the back of this heart pink even though you're not going to be able to see it.
Okay, so the front side of the heart is completely covered and I am just using the tip of my hot glue gun to start a hole in the bottom tip of the heart so I can shove this dowel rod up through the center bottom of the heart. And that dowel rod just came from Walmart. It was like 62 cents. I have a, a bunch of them in my craft closet. Then I took a piece of floral foam and shoved it down in this base I have. I've had this wooden base on hand for years now. It's from Goodwill. I want to say I didn't pay no more than $2 for this. And then I secured that dowel into the flo floral foam with some hot glue just to give it some stability in there. You've seen me dip my paintbrush in the paint. However, you don't see me painting the back of the heart, but that's what I'm doing right there. So once that is done, I'm going to take more of that floral moss and I'm going to hot glue it to the top of that foam. That way it's hidden and you don't see it. And then I had three leaves left on the stems that I had cut the flowers off of that I'm going to just um, stuff down in this, like you see there. And then I end up using those little heart picks that are on um, like a toothpick type of thing that you can get from Dollar Tree to actually secure those leaves down into. My original thought was to hot glue some of those hearts in the center of the rose roses, but I changed my mind on that. And there she is all completed up on my mantle with a little gnome sitting next to it. Um, let me know what you guys think of this project. Like I said, it turned out being one of my favorites. Um, and Peyton is obsessed with it and wants to steal it. There's just another picture of the completed project with the flash on the camera. Here's what the base of it looks like with the floral moss and the little hearts in there and the leaves. And then I will also have a close-up coming up now of the actual flowers with all that paint sprayed on it. Well, guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that um, craft. It was one of my favorites I've done so far this year. And Peyton wants to steal it from me after Valentine's Day is over because I have it on my mantle right now. But I do think it turned out super cute. Um, and that idea had been rolling around in my mind for a few days. And then the spraying of the paint and all that just came to me at the last minute or the day of. All right, you guys. I will see you guys soon. Take care. I love you all so much. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure to give this video a like or a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And I will talk to you guys soon. I love you all so much.